it's Candace again. And Joel with Torque Lift International. Today we're here to talk to you about the lowest cost, most effective suspension upgrade available, the Quick Disconnect Stable Loads. Joel, why is this such an effective suspension upgrade? When using our stable loads, it allows you to engage your overload spring sooner, reducing sway, sag, body roll, making your ride that much safer. Now, I know you're all familiar with our stable load line, but this one's a little bit different, right? Yes, the new design allows you to disengage and engage the stable load within seconds. So what truck applications will the Quick Disconnect Stable Load work with? It will cover all one ton, three quarter ton, and half ton trucks with a lower overload spring. As you can see today, we're going extreme. 3,000 pounds in the bed of this half ton pickup. Now I know you're probably not as crazy as us with a 3,000 pound weight in your half ton truck, but you're probably towing or hauling a truck camper, a toy hauler, a horse trailer, or even heavy equipment between job sites. But we're gonna do a demonstration today, right? We sure are, and you get to drive. All right, I look forward to it. So here we are in the half ton Chevy truck with a 3,000 pound weight in the back. Is your seatbelt fastened? It is. Okay, let's do this. kind of nervous. Yeah, me too. I'm not driving. <laughs> okay, so I'm speeding up a little bit, trying to get up to the speed limit. A lot of weight in the rear. Wow, I can really feel these potholes. Yeah. And we've got a stop sign up here, and I'm happy to stop. Take a little longer break. And we stopped just now, so yeah, <laughs> I would say so. Okay, so big, here big come corner. the railroad tracks. Yep, a lot of body roll. Still nervous? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Alright, so I guess we'll go through this parking lot. Yep. And, oh wow, I have to go so slow around these corners. It does not feel like I'm in good control here. feel a lot of uh, recoil from the rear after hitting potholes? I do. You know, it's like um, I hit the potholes and it just feels like it's still going like this yeah, in the back. Yep. Yeah. Yep. A lot. Yep. The rear end has a mind of its own. You know, we're driving with a 3,000 pound weight, but if I had, um, say, a toy hauler or a travel trailer or, you know, even a horse trailer because mm -hmm you're gonna have those horses in there and you're gonna be nervous about their safety anyway. You Absolutely. don't want them to fall down. Absolutely. Um, I would not want to be driving at all. I, I wouldn't no. want to feel this. When you put a lot of weight over the rear axle, um, it, it can seriously affect the way your truck handles. Um, obviously, you can tell in this, this situation that we're driving right now with the 3,000 pounds in the back of this, uh, the truck, is a lot harder to control. Oh yeah. And we're coming up to another stop sign and I'm so happy. And these brakes are working. Okay. The truck actually still rocks uh, a couple times after braking. Can you feel that? It does. It, it makes it feel like, um, you know, I've braked the brake is on the floor yep. and I'm still going, yep. that's what it feels like. Yep. I could be off the road, but I'll be even happier when I get out of the truck and <laughs> when we engage the stable load. Absolutely. All right, okay. that concludes the uh, stable loads disengaged. Phase two, stable loads have been engaged, 3,000 pounds in the bed. Make sure when you engage your stable loads, there's no weight in the truck. You ready? I'm still nervous from okay. last time. Here we go. I can help. Okay, yeah. We're not even on the road yet. <laughs> 
This is way better. You should feel uh, a lot more control. You won't feel any porpoising. The side no. to side sway should be dramatically reduced. You know, I just took that corner back there and I didn't have to break or anything. Yep. The truck recovers way faster from turns. We're hitting all of these little potholes that we did before. And now it just feels like I'm in a regular car. Yep. The front end should be uh, a lot more stable. It shouldn't feel as light. It feels like the weight is more evenly dispersed. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. So we're coming up to a stop sign again. And before it was taking a while for me to break. And let's see what happens. Okay, that time I braked, I was actually braking, so that felt yep. a lot better. There was no additional push front and back, yeah. Yep. yeah. It does not even feel like there's a weight in here. Yeah. Just went over some railroad tracks and it felt like a normal car, you know, not not even, it, it didn't make me feel uncomfortable like I'm driving a truck because before I said that I was really uncomfortable with driving a truck, but normally I just drive a car and that just felt like it did in my car. Good. So now we're going to go over some speed bumps. Not as bad. Nothing, much better. Nothing even near where it was. Before, I just felt like I was wrecking the truck. Yeah. Something else that I'm noticing is um, it felt so heavy in the back before that yep. when I was pulling into traffic, I felt like I needed about a mile in between myself and the next vehicle that was yep. coming my way. But now it's so like overall, it's, it's giving you your confidence back in your driving. Definitely. So you know, I, I feel a lot better about driving this truck and I think that if I were hauling horses or a toy hauler or even a truck camper, I would definitely want to use the quick disconnect stable loads. Um, it just felt a lot safer. Absolutely. So, but as you heard before, the quick disconnect stable load is the lowest cost, most effective suspension upgrade available. Remember, disconnects and engages within seconds. For more information, visit us at torquelift.com or live tech support 1-800-246-8132. Thanks for joining us for the ride.